Batista, what do you have? Or is it just Batiste? How do I pronounce this? I'm such a pleb. I used to be cool. I used to know my words. All right, let's see this. Roll support. Batiste. It is Batiste? Okay, cool. Batiste wields an assortment of experimental devices and weaponry to keep allies alive and eliminate threats under fierce conditions. A battle-hardened combat medic, he is just as capable of saving lives as he is of taking out the enemy. Difficulty three stars, chat. Biotic launcher, Batiste three-round burst biotic launcher rewards accuracy and recoil control with significant damage output. It also doubles as a healing device, lobbing projectiles that heal allies near the point of impact. So he has a burst rifle, which is something we haven't seen yet in Overwatch. It says uh, three round burst. And then it looks like he has healing grenades. Okay. Regenerative burst. Batiste activates an intense regenerative burst that heals himself and nearby allies over time. That reminds me of Lucio Amp It Up, aka everything around him. Immortality field. Batiste uses a device to create a field that prevents allies from dying. The generator can be destroyed. Cool, I want to kill myself. Amplification matrix. Batiste creates a matrix that doubles the damage and healing effects of friendly projectiles that pass through it. Okay. Exoboots. By crouching, Batiste can jump higher. All right, all right. Look, there's no way that this is going to be nearly as overpowered as I think it is. I have faith. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. I, I have faith. I'm actually, I'm loading into the PTR right now. One sec. I don't believe it. There's no way. Can you imagine? Scoats are all letting your back line and just fucking Batiste is throwing down immortality and just literally can't die. Overwatch is loading in the background. We're gonna let that music play here. That's not his ult. Um, no, it looks like this, this is his ult. Amplification matrix. Batiste creates a matrix that doubles the damage and healing of friendly projectiles that pass through it. God, that's such an interesting ult. I'm trying to think in my head because it's only projectiles, not anything else, right? So, Symmetra, like I'm assuming I'm on defense, right? Symmetra, Torb, Junkrat, Farah, Hanzo, Soldier Rocket, McCree, no, Widow, no. Do bullets count or not? It says only projectiles, right? Seagull, no, it applies hit scan too. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's just weird. All right, let's go into practice range real quick. I just want to, before we go into the patch notes chat, I want to look at, I want to examine the new hero first. So let's look at this. He's a support, huh? He looks cool. All right, one sec. So you get 45. You get 45 bullets, huh? Reloading reloads both no matter what. You have damage fall. Double kill. Hold control? What do you mean control? Hold control. Chat, I'm not control holding. I'm not holding a capture point. Chill, chat. Unless you mean crouch jump, in which case, yeah, he can crouch jump. I guess I can b-hop. He has damage fall off from this far away. We already saw it just now. From spawn. On the last one right here, it will not kill him with all body shots. See? This is the first hit scan healer we've had in Overwatch. Unless you count Ana, but Ana half time is projectiles. He doesn't heal himself with his own nade? Okay. Wow, I can't. Oh my god. Okay, wait. So this is the ult, right? Just put down the box and it doubles the damage. Double kill. And heals, right? So I, if I put this down and start healing through it, I just do. I'm a Superman. Okay. What's Shift do? Shift is everything around me, though. Shift is Lucio, right? Let me see this. So Shift is the AoE heal around me, right? Let's get these bots to take some damage here. I want to take some damage too in a second. Old crouch. Yeah, chat, we know you go high. It's cool. One sec. It's a hot. Okay, I wasn't expecting that one. That is actually just a Lucio heal aura for like five seconds. And he can take high ground. 
You bet this just makes me so sad there's not much air strafing. I guess there kind of is it. Shift is on a 15 second cooldown, that's a self heal, huh? Otherwise, he has to be constantly be using his nades to heal people. Why does he have 10 nades? Oh my god. How much does it heal? Do I have to aim this? It doesn't actually heal that much. His healing output is actually not that much. Wait, how much is this? Wait, that's like what? 50 HP per? 50 HP per right click? And it looks like it barely does much of anything. It looks like 75. I think it's, you know, it's not like a crappy, like, insane amount. So, like, you're constantly spamming heals on your teammates with projectiles, right? And then you press shift to heal yourself and all near alibis, and you're just constantly pressing this, and then... And now, what was his E again? Let's see this. Oh, immortality field. No one can die. 20 second cooldown. That's insane, dude. That is such a big radius. What's the uptime on this, chat? What's the uptime? I'm, well, I know I know you shoot it and it goes away. But chat, that's a pretty decent amount of health. Is it, isn't that like 200 HP? No, it's 250 HP. Okay, so his, his immortality generator is 250 HP. So in other words, if someone in my backline, like, if I'm about to die, I just go like this. And immediately they have to kill this to kill me. Right? If I'm getting dove in the backline, I drop that. And no one is going to die. And then immediately I just press my self heal and I start spamming heals on my teammates. And it takes 200 damage to break through that, right? And you, Seagull can't be headshot either? Okay. Rip grab combos. Well, no, I'm mostly fo focused on... Um, grab combos are one thing, right? Uh, let's say, like, the grab combo is happening and then the very last second as everyone's about to die, like, puts this down. Like, no offense, chat, what's gonna happen is they're just gonna kill the generator, then you're all 1 HP, and then you all die, unless you're getting mass spam healed like this. And then it looks like his massive throughput cooldown is gonna be like, let's say everyone's in a grab and he wants to save you. He, like, he puts down immortality field, and then he's gonna drop his ult, right? He's gonna get spam heals on you. And each heal does, is gonna do a crap ton of damage, that's for sure. And he will do a billion damage to you, too. <laughs> no wasted. See, it counters Diva Bomb? How's it counter Diva Bomb? Wouldn't it die at the same time? Oh, I guess it depends on the... I don't know how that works, but we would figure it out. I figured they would all just die regardless. Seems like a really cool hero, though. Same way it works with Zarya Bubble? Well, Zarya Bubble is a completely different mechanic. A very different mechanic. You live with the immortality. Jeff already said it. I assume, so how I assume it works is it kills every single person and then, or it does, like, it does the kill damage in every single player, but then the generator, I guess that would just always die last. So you just, you'd survive, but you'd all have one HP and then you'd all die to something else. Things are looking up. Double kill. Triple kill. Quadruple kill. You always want to be weaving auto attacks in between every heal? Oh, uh, slightly slower. It's slightly slower. Cool. I actually, I, I think this hero is really cool. I'm just worried about immortality field. That gives it so much depth. I'm just super interested in how it's gonna work. It's very cool. Like Pro's gonna do some crazy stuff, and that's not even accounting for like the mobility. Like if he's about to get dove, and he just hi jumps high ground like that, and then drops immortality field, and starts like pops both heals, starts spamming. 
It doesn't even have to reload too often, too. Is Immortality Field LOS? There's a lot of small details about Immortality Field. I don't know how it works. You're just going to have to wait until it goes. Bolt charge rate is increased in practice range. Uh, I don't think that's true. That's not true. It's just because you're shooting a lot of stuff. You just get to see it. It's a cool hero, though. I like it so far. I like the fact that it's FPS based. All right. Play Torb Rage. <laughs> Legal Fairy gets shit on again. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't think about that, huh? Because Matisse can actually... <laughs> I didn't really even care about Fair at all, but holy crap, dude. If you saw a Fera, you're just like... Wait, let's see this. Let's see this. Wait, can I jump up this? If I'm here, can I go up to this? Full charge. Okay, that's really nice for Dorado. That's really nice. Can I do a jump from this side to the other side? Wait, wait. Can I do a jump? Okay, if I break this railing, can I do it off this green thing? Oh, okay, I could probably do it off this then, right? Okay. So you can get to here. Oh yeah, I have damage fall off, so I can't really do that as much as I want. You know what I could do? I could let my Widow peek the other Widow with Immortality Field and she wouldn't die. Thank you. I didn't think about that just now. Like, I could just peek this Widow right now and I can't die to her. With my, I could put the Immortality Field behind the corner. They're shooting it right now, but... Also, how is this supposed to work with... Also, if, so, if uh, Batista uses this in a fight, he's probably just going to feed. Like his high jump or whatever. I guess I should have put my E down right there and saved my teammate, huh? Holy crap, Aris is so fast, little speed demon. Oh, I guess if I get one shot, I can still die with it? I don't know. Or maybe I put it... Maybe it took me right out of the radius? I don't know. I thought I thought I couldn't die. I think, I think it took me out of the radius. Just the tiniest bit somewhere in there. I think it's what happened. Yeah, I have my ult now, so I can shred everyone. Huh? Oh, fuck, fuck. Get to the immortality. Oh, you're fine. Immortality is really dumb. I don't know what the radius on this is. I'm thinking it's pretty far. I mean, obviously, multiple Batiste, multiple immortalities, of course, that's dumb, right? They killed the generator that time. Seagull, it's basically an uber charge from TF2 with a low cooldown. <laughs> like, I never thought of it like that. It's not quite that, but... You barely made it up. Yeah, this is gonna be so. You have to quick play, I think, because uh, Batiste's immortality field is just too strong. With like multiple hero stacking, it's like totally broken. Like, no one can die, this is hilarious. Can you shoot feet to heal yourself? No, you can't. We tried that earlier. That's gonna be such a big cooldown for Batiste to save people. Obviously, good players will focus it instantly, but like.
God, his damage is good too. Gonna be eaten by D.Va? I have no idea. It's gonna be really nice for Widows though. I will say his gun just feels like a pea shooter. It's like, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. it's strange. You can also just keep tapping the crouch and it keeps it for a little bit afterwards. It's strange. This is gonna be so silly because it's quick. It, it, there's no limits. Like he just drops his Batiste thing, and no one could die. And then repeat, you know. I just instantly full heal, and I just do so much damage the moment we drop this. Oh my god. Honestly, I would much rather, you know, this E ability is cool, but I just get so worried, like, the gameplay mechanics of making it an individual item scare me, like, on the map like this. Single target, maybe be too close to Nano or something. Also, I'm trying to use this as an aid launcher, it's me. We'll see. I don't think it'll be nearly as good as people think, but at the start, it's going to be super OP. Can you imagine stalling with this thing? Oh no. They have to focus it instantly. It gives you a really nice stall. I will say no limits though with two Batistas is hilarious. Like I've said a million times, but dude, we have three of them. No one could die. I think it's gonna be most powerful when you put it around corners too. Like if you put it around a corner and let your widow peek the other widow, that's insane. Then you have the standard E use of it, right? Which is just use it as much as you can. So strange. You can heal your inventory or anything? I would be very surprised if you could. I don't think you can. I don't, I'm very confident you can. I'd be like very broken, but you can't, you can't. You can hack it for sure. Yeah, you definitely can do that. No limits with three in one looks very unfun for everyone. Yeah, I agree with that. I put, too, I put it too far away. I got booped. What if you can eat it with DM? I don't know. I think you probably should. Play of the game. They sealed the poop changes mean you can poop a mercy res? Dude, you could always do that. Why are you solo spamming that? You've been able to do that for like three years. For five, it says Matrix for five. Thank you, man. It says imagine pirate ship with Batiste and Diva to Matrix invis the invuln instability drone. Oh, so like if you can't eat it, you have your own diva. Oh my god, dude. Okay, if you can't eat it, what happens if you have a friendly diva who uses her entire matrix on your friendly oh, Batiste you drone? Just stop it. Stop bringing this up. Can you imagine? <laughs> okay, here's here's the strat. You're playing goats, right? And you're just like, okay, okay, okay like let's get it, like. You drop your drone and you're in a, and like no one's dying. And you drop you like Zarya shield it and then you give a full matrix to it. And then you drop like I don't know. What else do you do with it? 
shield the drone? I don't know. Can you shield the drone? Does it go high enough? Wait, wait let me see this. Hey, Ryan, can you see if you, uh, come here. See if you can shield the drone. Wait. Yeah, you can, you can. These, they can just shield it from the front, huh? They have a Torb. I guess I should focus on healing, huh? We had two of us who just got instantly nated and rolled, and so we just dropped my drone, and then the diva just had to run away. Like, I just dropped it versus anti nade. I just dropped my drone. What do they do? Also, they're, they're not really playing. Go Are they? Pl I don't know what goats is anymore. Goats is just death ball. This poke damage is pretty legit too. She can't die. I didn't have my drone up one second to drone. God damn it, dude. I was so close. I was going to take it. You could have crouch jump up top. Oh yeah, I could have crouch jump. Sorry, chat. I forgot about that. Well, it could be worse. I was hoping I'd get my drone first. You got nated to 18 HP and the drone put you at 48 HP. Jesus. Does drone protect against bomb? That's what I wanted to test, yeah. I think it poss it's possible. I don't know how far I can throw this. We're just gonna throw this guy. Okay, it went it went literally across the map. It it throws I could throw it like across the map. Someone, ZXC says in chat, yeah, it does protect versus bomb. Okay. Screw your turret, Torb. What if I get more heals if I hit directs? I, sh I just got one shot. They had their they had their thing up. Oh, um, I didn't even I didn't even hear it go down. I, I I don't know what the voice line is for that. That's the it wasn't like a bongo level noise. I just died. Let's see this. I threw it across that far, dude. Be able to protect against both bomb and rip tire. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't know if we were blocking no matter what, so I don't know if that was, that was a good test, but you just time the drone, put it out the same exact time that it, it all lands, and like, how does anyone die, you know? It, it seems really good counter versus Diva Bomb in general. It doesn't seem hard to aim either, the, the grenade heal. I just don't know if it scales. Does it scale if I direct? I don't Air drum. One shot. One shot from a fire strike. What? I didn't even have time to put my E down. We all just exploded. What do you even do against that? 
He literally just pre-fired his fire strike as the Batiste put his ult down. We just got one shot. Oh my god. I guess I have to just immediately... I didn't hear... A, is there a voice line to the ult at all? I guess I need to hear the voice line immediately E, no matter what. If I see if I see it, I just have to immediately E. There is no voice line. Yeah, it seems bugged. There's no voice line. Okay. How am I supposed to even predict that without a voice line? I have actually fall off from that range anyway. Anyway. My Ryan's in! It just says no. Poor guy. And I can just peek snipers with the scene. It doesn't even matter. See, now they have to... It takes a while to kill it. They just have to run. They're just like, wait, LOS, LOS. Alright, I guess we're going in. No one can die anymore. We're cool. He's gotta kill my drone. I can't die. Oh, this poor guy, dude. There is actually a little bit of recoil. They're back, they're back, they're back capping us, boys. We C9. gotta go back. We're C9. Just run all the way back. We gotta stop him giving two ticks. We're good. Zari, keep running. Zari, keep running. I get you. I just saved my Zari with that ult. No! I couldn't, I couldn't put my shield down time. Fuck. I don't have my ult. I can tank it with Diva Bomb. And now there's a hit scan healer too that can fight a tracer and it's burst damage too, so it's more forgiving. So you can tank Diva Bomb. Victory. Dude. So you can tank Diva Bomb, you can tank. And you can take a lot of stuff. Classic Paris. <laughs> So how does this work with goats? I guess goats doesn't care, right? Because they just run in with Ryan and melee everything down. I don't. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work. You can tank anything; it will save you, and then it will kill the drone. Okay, so we can tank a diva bomb. We know that. So it'll kill the drone, but the drone will save you. Immortality also denied the pin, so melee damage is also denied. Yeah, so it also denies Doomfist. So in other words, you have to boop them out of the drone, but the drone radius is so huge, it doesn't matter most of the time. 